Do you want to know how to use command blocks to set up a simple timer for your Minecraft world or server? Well, you've come to the right place because in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's super simple, super easy. Just follow step by step. All the help will be down in the description below. So make sure and check those ones out as well. Disclaimer, make sure that you have allow cheats on. If you don't have allow cheats on on this world, go ahead and hit your escape key open to LAN and allow cheats. On Minecraft servers, you just have to go into server properties and make sure you enable command blocks. First up, slash give at player, and we're gonna type in command block, and that's gonna go ahead and give us one of these things. Don't be intimidated, don't be intimidated, go ahead and slap that down. What we're gonna need to do is create something called a scoreboard. So right click, scoreboard, objectives. Look at that, it's already filled out for you, add. We're gonna call this timer. This is gonna be whatever we wanna call it and dummy and we're gonna go and slap a button on there so down here we have impulse chain and repeat obviously impulsive is going to be one thing that's going to happen once chain if you want to add multiple things to it and repeater block is going to continuously repeat conditional or unconditional unconditional is just going to ensure that it's going to it's going to happen no matter what condition needs to meet those conditions and needs redstone if you want to add the button or always active this one we're going to have needs redstone and this is impulsive and so what's going to happen is when we push this button created a new objective called timer now we're going to go and put one more of these command blocks down this is going to go ahead and go scoreboard players add at all timer one this one needs to be changed to a repeating unconditional and we're going to go ahead and use needs redstone for now because the moment that we go ahead and push this button you're going to see something that's going to happen in our chat window and it's going to go ahead and give us 30 ticks 30 timers right there if we would leave this on this would just continue indefinitely we're going to go ahead and slap another command block down right here this is going to go ahead and be our reset we're going to name this we're going to run this command scoreboard players reset and then the asterisk and our whatever we named it so we named it timer we're going to stick to that one it is impulse unconditional and needs redstone and we'll go and give that one right there so now if we click this reset the timer for dr redstone or anybody else in the server so if we go ahead and run this one more time you notice that we're back down to zero push it again we're going to go all the way back up to 60 we're going to hit this reset it and back to 30. now you might be asking yourself what can i do with this there's a lot of things that you can go ahead and do and get this thing set up with i personally use this as a timer to go ahead and set up dialogue let me show you how that works we're going to go put another command block down right here let's get into it and just follow along yet again everything down in the description if you need help with any of that we're going to go execute as at all if score at self timer of course is what we named matches and now we can name we can give this whatever we want we're going to go and go with 60 we could add the dots which is going to continue with 60 and above but we want it to happen just at 60 tell raw at self we're going to start some quotes like and subscribe oops after this 60 we need to go ahead and put run because it wants to know what command so it's going to run this command tell raw at self like and subscribe this is going to be repeating unconditional and always active so if we go ahead and reset our timer here we're going to go and hit this it's going to go to 30 you're going to hit it one more time and now it's going to send a message like and subscribe that's going to go away as long as we go ahead and hit that so i do have this game rule output to show the command block outputs if you want to turn that off slash game rule command block output and we're going to do that false which is going to go ahead and allow us we're going to go ahead and reset we're, we don't see anything that happens there but when we push this we know that it's going to go all the way to 30 we know when we push this it's going to go all the way to 60 and bam there it is like and subscribe we're going to push this again because now we're past that 60 mark and this is going to go ahead and then go away there it is right there so that is now faded one thing that i recently set up with there is a data pack that i'm working on releasing for a brand new server that i'm hosting in the month of april if you want to go ahead and join make sure and let me know down in the comments below and i'll get you set up with that this server is going to be open up for multiple hours every day but you only have 20 minutes to play and at the end of that you're going to go ahead and get kicked i know i know i probably lost you there but let me show you what i did there execute as at all if score at self we're going to call it time 
timer matches 100 and we're going to go ahead and put these dots because that's going to be at 100 or greater it's going to go ahead and do this we're going to do run kick at self game over this one also has to be set to repeating unconditional and always active you'll notice a couple of these different colors here and so that is only going to happen if we have this thing running obviously this isn't normally going to be set up with redstone it's going to always be active meaning that this is constantly going to be going i just have it set to needs redstone for now makes it a little bit easier for the tutorial so if we click on that one that's going to go ahead and bring us to 30 that's going to bring us to 60 this is going to bring us to 90 and this is going to go ahead and bring us to 120 now obviously we are in a single player world so we cannot kick ourselves. so i'm going to go ahead and change that we're still going to be at 100 run tell raw at self we're going to go quotes game over quotes to go ahead and end that and we're going to go done let's go ahead and change this from 100 dot dot because it's going to continuously say game over till the end of the tutorial so we want it to say that only when it matches 100 so now if we clear this we're going to go here to 30 here to 60 make sure and like and subscribe and down to 90 and game over at 120 this is one of my first tutorials for command block but if you guys have any questions make sure and put those ones down below in the comment section and i want to know what you guys are planning to do with it in my use case scenario i have it set up for a data pack that's going to go and kick you after 20 minutes also i've got it set up to go ahead and run certain dialogue at certain periods of time we were doing a little pokemon cobblemon intro for season two but as always that is going to be absolutely everything that i've got if you guys need any help definitely let me know down in the comment section below and this is dr redstone signing out thanks youtube